Okay, here's question five. And you should read this all kind of cl um, closely because it says R, O, and S are three points in the same plane. If you can't see, this is a triangle, looks like a slice of cheese, but this is one side on the top. O, P is a vertical tower. That's how tall the cheese is. O, R equals O, S, which equals A. These lines in the bottom are equal to A. And the angle of elevation, or A tier, from um, P, the angle of elevation to P from S here, that bending up there in this right angle triangle here, is Y. Give a reason why PS equals PR. Well, look, you've got A and A the same, and they share this common um, side here, the height. The, both of these is, are hypotenuses, and so what's one reason? You could, you could do it other ways, too. But if you square those two sides, you get PS squared and you get PR squared, you get exactly the same thing. So by Pythagoras, PS must equal PR. Now let's take a look at this one here. You're supposed to express PR in terms of A and Y. Well, to get started here, I can see, here's Y, the cosine of, a, of Y is equal to A over PS. But hey, PS is equal to PR, so the cosine of Y is equal to A over PR. Well, if that's true, then you can multiply both sides by PR and divide by cos Y, and we have PR in terms of A and Y, A divided by cos Y. And that's what you're going to need for the next um, question. So you write down PR equals A over cos Y because we're going to do one of these 3D problems where we have to <laughs> prove that RS equals this weird thing. And when we first look at it, there's no way of figuring out much except, oh, there's cos Y and A. It's already there. Somehow, RS equals 2, uh, the 2 times cos X works into it. Well, to get started here, we know that these two sides are the same. So we know that this angle over here by R, PR, is equal to X. I'm going to be using the law of sines here, so that's why I know this is 180 minus 2X. Now we're going to be working with RS. Well, there's RS. Now let's get to work with the law of sines. RS goes with the sine of 180 minus 2X. And PR, PR, which we know over here, at least we have some way of expressing it, PR goes with this X. Remember, sine rule is sides and angles opposite. So PR goes with X. Ooh, that's good. That's going to get us somewhere. Now, 180 minus 2X is really the sine of 2X. The sine of 180 minus an angle it's just the sine of that angle. It's sine 2x, and then you multiply it up here. Ooh, we're getting real close now, because the sine of 2x from our formula sheet is 2 sine x cos x. The sines x cancel, and you got 2 cos x. Well, we know what PR is. It's A over cos y. So we substitute PR with A over cos y. Well, that is pretty. A times 2 is the same as 2A cos x over y. So that's what RS is. The last question just says, OK, if A equals 150 and X equals this angle and Y equals this angle, calculate the length. Well, this question is the easiest one in the whole exam. Because all you have to do, they've given you all the things, is there's the formula. Take A as 150. Take x is 70, the angle, 76, 3, cos is 18.4, put it in your calculator, and I always sometimes forget to read it carefully. It says to the nearest meter, so I don't round this off to the nearest hundredth, I round it to the nearest meter, it's 75 meters, that's an 8 there, 0.8, so it's 75 meters. And there's question 5.